Alpha, my people. I'm coming to you live and direct from Lagos, Nigeria. I'm back to my second home and I'm right here at Flax Factory. Thank you very much, Gospel on the Beats, for hosting me right here. The lady I'm about to interview, I'm super in love with her because she has an amazing talent, an amazing heart, an amazing voice, and uh, an amazing personality. She is a star. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to welcome Okimute. How are you, baby? I'm fine. I'm ecstatic. <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing me to meet with you, to interview you. I haven't seen you from last year. How was December? How is January? December was dirty. <laughs> Uh, happy new year <laughs> happy new year and how's your january so far uh hmm. we'll clean the january a little bit let's clean it clean it clean it clean it but january is it's amazing the january started really really awesome uh, okay mute before you know getting signed to flax factory you're already um having a professional music career you already had an ep out you even won mtn project fame um competition in 2016 right yeah. So tell me about that journey, you know, you're not starting, you know, from then to now, you've made considerable growth and um, we can see the shooting star. <laughs> oh my God. I, I thank God Almighty for um, the journey so far. Um, it's been an amazing one. It's been a challenging one. It's been an educative process. Um, I love, I love every bit of, of the journey and I'm still loving it up till now and I know I'm going to love the journey ahead. You know, um, I came out from Project Fame 2016. Yeah, I came out from Project Fame 2016 and after that I did, I dropped an EP um, titled PH610 and the PH610 was actually my um, audition number. Yeah, for when, when I went for audition in Project Fame, for Project Fame in um, Port Harcourt. 2018, you know, glide to 2018. To be very sincere, in 2018, I felt I felt a little bit lost. Like I felt like, what was I gonna do? Where am I going to? Because I was done with Project Fame and the contract and all that, and I was like, what am I going to do? You know. So I was trying to get myself out there. You know, 2018, and then next thing, Gospel called me during the end of the um, the, the year, and he was like, come to the studio. There's a song I want you to record, and I was like, oh, yeah. You know me, I'm ever ready. Once you call me, come to the studio or I'm having you for it. What are you saying? I'm there. I'm there. Ever ready. It's like when I called you today, I was like, can I interview you? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you know, I'm ever ready. I just came down to the studio. I came down to the studio and um, <laughs> he was like, let's see these beats. And you know, gospel is, a, is an amazing. He, I'm, I'm not sure he knows. He's an amazing writer. So he started with the vibe for the song Usa. Yeah, so he started with the vibe and we just kept on going. We stayed in the studio till the next day. We were recording all through the night. It was really amazing. And Gospel on the Beat decided that he was like, oh, he's going to, he wants us to shoot a video for the song. You know, let's shoot a video. We went to see videographers. You know, we went different places. We decided that, oh, okay, we're going to, you know, okay, oh, um, let me, let me. He, he was like, I'm going to take the costs for the video. And I'm like, oh, wow. All right. <laughs> and this was before I got signed to Flux Factory. Facts. You understand? This is to show that Gospel on the Beat, he's. I don't know. I, I, I would not just call him. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to call him. He's just one of the few good men. Because some things you don't really have to do them, but sometimes he'll just go an extra mile, and it's 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 just because he's a good human being. I I think I, I like him you, really, really because I guess when 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 we were, when we we're talking about um, shooting the video, and he was like he's gonna take the cost of shooting the video and all that. I I he's he called me and he, he was telling me um his lawyer was like why. Why are you deciding to take the cost to shoot this video? You know, like you can not comprehend why are you doing it? Because it's not like I had a contract signed. I actually thought that you were already signed by that time. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't signed by that time. I wasn't at all. You know, so it was during that process. How Gospel on just called me and I was like, get up. Come and meet me at Koi. I want you to come and have a meeting with someone. And that was, that was it. That was how I found myself in Flux Factory. So, yeah. 
<laughs> and that's a journey till now. And I dropped an EP. A star. <laughs> Congratulations. What a success story. What would you want to be your legacy? Um, I don't think I want just one thing. I don't want just one thing. I've, ne I've been that type of person that always wants to put my hands everywhere. Yeah. So, so apart from my music, apart from people um, listening to my music and having fun, because ever since as, as a child when I sing, I notice that people are always happy. You know, they're having fun. You know, it, it gives me great joy to see people have fun listening to me when I sing. You know, that's one of the, I think that was one of the reasons why I started singing. Because when I sing, people are actually listening and they're enjoying themselves and they're happy. You know, so I love to see people happy. So apart from the fact that my music should be the kind of music that make people happy, um, give you what, what, whatever kind of emotion that it will pass to you, whatever kind of emotion that it was, that suits you, you know, my music can actually help to do that. Apart from that, I want, I want to be, I want to be remembered for the lady that stands stands up for females don't have the voice to to know that they are you know they are beautiful the way they are that god made them the way they are that the female girls that don't have that um they don't have the courage you know they don't they don't appreciate themselves maybe because of um abuse or maybe because of you know some sort of uh, um depression or some sort of um and dominance over them you know by the society or whatsoever you know i want to be that person that would make you say okay she stood up for for them um i want to remember that as a happy person you are the, the happiest person i know <laughs> you are a happy person i just had your voice in gospel's album i was like who is that like that's the person i want to meet and when i came here last year i don't think i met you but I like listened to the songs in the um, in the studio, and then so we finally met when you came to Kenya, and we know we were able to do the promotions for your um, EP A Star, and um, I mean it was it was quite successful. So I just wanted to ask you, you know, what was your impression of Kenya, and what else would you like to do in East Africa, or what do you want to tell your East African fans they should look out for in 2020? Oh my God! First of all, I would like to tell my East African fans. Santi Sano. <laughs> I love you guys so much. You guys were amazing to me in Nairobi. See, I see I didn't want to leave. I felt so bad. It said you said we are we are loud loud people. Yeah, so you guys are loud loud people. Yeah, I'll tell them you guys are loud loud people. You guys see you see your they turn you guys turn up. Oh my god. Oh my god. See you guys are happy people. I I, I went there and I was like, come on, come to, are you sure you are you are like are you are you as happy as you thought you were because these people they are always happy the eps star you know is already out um we already promoted it last year we're not done with the promotions um not just in east africa but all over africa um until another ep or album drops so tell us more about the ep and the music video out yeah. what else i mean the whole ep is trouble tell us <laughs> okay so um the title of the ep is a star the four track EP. It has Turn Up as the first track, has Trouble, second track, Lao Lao the third, and uh, Omokala Kuta as the fourth. You know, these songs, they have special places in my heart. So it's very difficult for me to say, oh, I like this one more than I like this one, to be very sincere. Like I said, it, it, all the songs, they hold like a very big place in my heart. Turn Up, I dedicated it to my mom because she's a turn up queen. <laughs> Lao Lao is that space where I always want to be, you know, like in a very chilled vibe, you know. And Omo Kalakuta just brings out that performance in me, you know, because I'm a performer. <laughs> Apart from just being a singer, you know, I prefer being a musician. I'm a performer. You know, I love to perform. I love to move my body on the stage, you know, and all that too. Tell me about your fashion sense because you're quite fashionable, always looking really amazing. And today you were even um, somewhere discussing fashion on a top media um, station. Tell me more about your inspiration. <laughs> it's more like Afro Auburn. You know, I have this like this Afro Auburn vibe. That vibes that is just easy. You don't have to wear clothes and you get really uncomfortable. Anything that makes you feel comfortable. If you're comfortable, you're comfortable. You know, I'm I'm like go big or go home. I'm extra. You can see that. I'm extra. I'm reaching the floor. 
I'm extra. I love it extra. It's go big or go home. And I can't go home, Maniko. I have to go big, go big always. That's it. That's the style. Big, big. <laughs> I love it. That is 2020 state of mind. Go big or go home. That's exactly how we wrap up the VIP Access interview this week. I want to say thank you so much to you, Akimute, for this opportunity to interview you. Thank you so much to Flax Factory for hosting me. Gospel on the beat. You're somewhere cooking the beat. We see you. Thank you very much. VIP Access with the Nikos on YouTube. Every week I'll be talking to a super celebrity. You can subscribe to my channel. I will never disappoint you. Taking you behind the scenes is always fun. Bye. Uh, and I'll get to you. I'll get to you.